Dr. Speaker, our young Ahmad Muhammad Premier has the foresight to know that an educated population will bring Sarawak to greater heights in many ways. Young Ahmad Muhammad Premier aims to provide free educate, tertiary education to all state-owned universities by 2026 and which should be achievable given the state's robust economic strength under the current dynamic and very stable GPS government. As promised by our Honourable Young Ahmad Brahmat Premier and addressed in his budget speech, the first state-owned international school in Sarawak has entered its second year of operation in Petrajaya in Kuching and the second international school located at Mount 12 Kuching Syrian Road is scheduled to be completed at the end of this year. However, I remember not too long ago, member for Padungan was shouting at the top of his voice in this August house, swinging Pakatan Harapan manifesto and say, when Pakatan Harapan wins the election, education autonomy will be returned to Sarawak. No need to beg. Tapi, cakap sahaja. Yeah, he's not here, unfortunately. Never mind. He, he knows, he knows what, I'm talk, uh, what I'm saying. Our young Ahmad Muhammad Premier has also set up a sovereign fund, wealth fund, for our future generations following the footsteps of Norway, Singapore, and Sweden's sovereign wealth fund. Sarawak Sovereign Wealth Fund aims to ensure that the generated interests will be dedicated to education, economic fortification, statewide infrastructure development, and with Sarawak's record-breaking revenue of 11 billion last year, and an even bigger budget of more than 12 billion this year, the state's trajectory is on a positive upswing. Dr. Speaker, the federal government has been dragging its feet in addressing the much-needed repairs of schools throughout Sarawak. Thus, it is of utmost importance that education autonomy be returned to Sarawak so that urgent issues are resolved quickly, especially as it concerns the safety of our students and teachers. Not too long ago, our Federal Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Education Minister has confirmed that the Ministry of Education, MOE, is slow in release, releasing funds for dilapidated schools. And this was while answering a parliamentary question from a member of Stampin, saying that we have 462 dilapidated schools in Sarawak which are in need of serious attention, but only 11 schools will, will be repaid in 2024. At the rate it is going, the unity government will take 42 years to repair all the dilapidated schools in Sarawak. For the record of this dune, the federal MOE spent only 2.5 billion from 2016 to 2023 for schools in Sarawak, compared to the 2.7 billion our YAB Premier spent on education-related matters in Sarawak from 2020 to 2023. Three years only. It is high time that education autonomy and money due to Sarawak on education matters be promptly and urgently returned to Sarawak for us to repair our schools and for us to decide, decide our own education syllabus. When education autonomy is returned to Sarawak, Sarawak will also no longer need to follow the federal stance of chop and change education programs and the constant shifts from English to BM and back again. 
These indecisive federal education programs have created so much confusion for students and parents over the years, leading to a devastating drop in academic excellence. Dr. Speaker, in 2020, the Sarawak government, under our YAB Premier's directive, made a significant move of investing 11 million to implement programs teaching mathematics and science in English to year one students in all primary schools in Sarawak. Today, in Yang Ahmad Brahmat Premier's budget speech, Yang Ahmad Brahmat Premier reaffirmed his commitment to continue to improve the standard of English while providing a strong foundation in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM education for our students. Kudos to YAB Premier. This investment is crucial as it enhances students' proficiency in these subjects, aligning them with global standards. English proficiency in these fields not only facilitates international communication, but also opens doors to a broader range of educational and career opportunities for students in an increasingly interconnected world. We are fortunate to have a Premier who upsold and protects our right to use English in Sarawak. Sarawak is the only state that has fully implemented the teaching of science and mathematics in English under the dual language program Sarawak, as mentioned by Why Every Premier in his budget speech. However, I encourage all Sarawakians of all races to work hard at improving our BM proficiency, Bahasa Malaysia proficiency, as this is our national language and it is our language of respect and unity for, all Malaysian, for, for our Malaysian culture. 